What's that place, by the way? Hospital radio station. What's it made of? Occupational therapy. Have a seat. I'll get you a cup of tea, but they don't trust us with kettles and... Make fun yourselves? Aye. Or wear them in our heats. Either way, it requires medical intervention. I've just been talking to your doctor, by the way. Why? And he told me some good news, I think. When you go? He says they're going to be letting you out here soon. Next week, he reckons. You're joking. Next week? Oh, yes! Yes! Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty, I'll be free at last! <laughs> I, well, I just came to ask you if you've any plans. You know, for when you come out. I loads of them. Massive booze up with my pals. Quite tight only, of course. And a holiday in the Seychelles. I'll maybe meet you off, can Slot it, why not? I'll lose my virginity. I'm 19 and I think I should lose my virginity, don't you? Listen, stop your daft act and sit down, or you'll make me think you need to stay here. I was talking about your future, son. When you get out of here, you never got your exams, you know. Your man and me was wondering whether you'd thought of getting back to do your exams. Right. Well, I can't say that was the first time it crossed my mind. I will think about it, son. There's a real world out there, and nobody gives you nothing for nothing. You need a job, you need qualifications. It's just... I don't know what I want to do yet. Look, don't give me any of that to talk. We're talking about a job, and what you want to do is get nothing to do with it. I would not be a road sweeper. And I'm not a road sweeper. I work for the highways department and I'm a foreman. You sweep the road. I never heard you complain about the food it put on the table. You might be a waste of all your life, eh? Because I'm not having it. But to pull yourself together. Because this thing is killing your ma, it's positively killing her. The doctor's put her in tablets, she's that upset about it. At least two loonies in the family. Your ma's no loony. There's never had a loony in the family before you. No on my side and no on your ma's side. And it's got to stop. You have to put this behind you and pull yourself together, you understand me? You just need to think about your future, so. Okay. I now crown you future Radio 1 DJ Campbell Bain. Did you get the bane? Aye. I can't name on them, that's only good. Where'd you get all this dosh anyway? I sold my cigarettes to my John. For 60 quid. Oh, well, was he packs? I made a doll for Well, he was dead, but I was helping him. What are you going to do for fights? I'm coming off it. Cold turkey. I've got to look after my voice, Dennis. My voice is going to be my future. And may God strike me deep if I so much as engage in passive smoking. But everybody smokes in here. How can you not passively smoke? I have to. I only enjoy it. Go on, let's go to Tiny's at the station. Dad? Hello? I thought he was a doctor. I'm only part time. I need to talk to you, sir. I? I step into the office. It's not much. But what it lacks in uh, privacy, it also lacks in future comforts. I was wondering if you thought about what we were, we'd been saying. I have, I have. And I have to say that you're absolutely dead on. I'm 19 years old and it's about time I start thinking about the future. Oh, I? I don't really pray to me, Dad. Look, I've put a lot of thought into this and I've decided that my future, my life's work, my soul's passion is going to be this. You going to be an airline pilot? No, a DJ. A radio disc jockey, Dad. And I can get all the experience I need right here in the hospital station. Is that not brilliant? I'm sure we're back to that, are we? Back to what? You and your daft ideas. It's not daft. Six months ago, you wanted to be a pop star. Oh, that was nothing like any sound. Two years ago, you wanted to be a racing jockey. Well, I'm afraid of horses. Before that, you wanted to be an actor. I can't even remember my lines, but this is different. I'm good at this, I know it. 
you know, a lot of things that she went with you. I remember when you knew you were the best joke writer in Britain, you went into the BBC to tell them so, and they had to get a policy and they drag you out of there. That's different. I know, a lot of things are going to be different from now on. You want to be good at something, be good at getting the exams you missed. Your man and me have been talking and we decided that it would be good for you if you went to stop with your auntie Susan for a bit. She lives in Perth. They've got a lot of adult classes you can take and you can get the quiet and the rest you need to I can't go to Perth! I've got to stay in Glasgow work on the stations here. I need to get the experience there. You need to get well. I'm not ill! You stand there shouting at the top of your voice, throwing your arms a bit like a mad scarecrow and you're telling me you're not ill. You can't make me go to Perth. 19 years old, no way. I'm staying in Glasgow and I'm going to work on the station and I'm going to become a professional DJ, whether you like it or no. 19, you may be, but you're still a wee and you're not capable of thinking straight and some straight thinking needs to be done if you're not going to end up a waster. Your man and me have been doing our best to look after you, but if you're not let us, then there's nothing left but to have these section. Once and for all, and let the doctors decide. Section. I'll be around Monday morning to collect you. Your uncle's going to his car. I've never been young, Dad. It's never anything you've wanted to do. You've wanted to be more than anything in the whole world. I'm a goalkeeper for the Rangers. I can do the thing. If there's a wee man staying out to the even though you're not a tough one, it might be the right place. If there's a strange voice in your head, get it to sing along. If there's a catatonic sitting next to you, wake him up! That's right, because it's time for the Legion show. And I want you dancing, ladies. I want you singing along. I want you clapping your hands and stamping your feet. It's okay. Tell me the the voice that came through the radio. Where did you do it? No, I'll give him something to think about. This is for all these having ECT tomorrow. I hope you get some good vibration. It's good vibrations by the Beach Boys for 1966. Well, I suppose you're all wondering why I asked you about it. As you may know, if you tuned in Wednesday, this is the fourth and last Campbell Baines Looney Tunes show. The good news is, the good news is that it's because I'm being discharged on Monday. The bad news is, I'm going to be living in Perth. And, and for our first competition tonight, if you remember, was to find the best reason to be glad to be glad in going to Perth. Well, I can't say that I've been absolutely inundated with replies, but after much deliberation, I found the winner. The area more crew, because it's dead flat, so there's no a lot of walking up hills. The gym on Lord 6, because they talk with funny accents, so it's like being on holiday. The Hector on Lord 10, because Perth is a very short walk and easy to remember. And the Margaret on Lord 3, because at least it's no Kirkcaldy. Our special competition was to find a special dedication to the town of Perth, and the winner is Gavin on Ward 4. We dedicated this song to the town of Perth. Dance music, is it? We're supposed to be rocking. We're supposed to be rolling because we are loonies and we are proud. Repeat that for me. We are loonies and we are proud. I'm a man of the present. And I am proud, my friends. Some of the greatest geniuses in history have been man of the The present or a man of all. Vincent van Gogh, Heidel, Schumann, Virginia Woolf, Sylvia Plath, William Stanley, Spike Milligan, Vivian Lee. That is 100% true, folks. And I can feel like I've got genius in my genes tonight. This is for all you man of presence out there. We are ladies and we are proud. Do you know how much mental illness imagery there is in popular music? Tonight our guest on the Looney Tunes show is Professor of Musicology, Dr. Boogie. Yeah, yeah, in the popular music we find much imagery of the mental illness, indicating, I think, an underlying fear and fascination with madness. For well, example, this expresses the deep anxiety about going a little bit tiny. Yeah, another example is which expresses the deep anxiety about going a lot with the fire, maybe I hope it And then again, in a song like, we can see the fascination with obsessive behavior, and some songs hold the greatest fears of all. In this case, the twin fears of abject mediocrity and a bright and crap songs. I know, I know, then there's, which has got nothing to do with movies, but it's a great song. So long we down to the window. Long we down. But 
Oh, she was so high, the baby fly, oh. Oh, she's a song, she's a song. <laughs>